always trying to locate what aspects of electronic music make me feel complete. There's just something about it that's so limitless, like I don't know. Music is something that belongs to everyone. It was like my way to evolve as a woman. Women, men, gay, straight. If you have music that is made by all of these different kinds of people, then you have a richer field of music. It represents a moment in my life where everything's starting to make sense. Meet Daphne Oren, a musician unlike any other. She makes music not with instruments, but with electronic devices. Some say she is creating the music of the future. A lot of people think that particularly techno electronic music is like a very male music and they have every right to think that. Women don't feel that they have booking power. A lot of cities are controlled by men as far as booking and club owning and just nightlife infrastructure. It's almost like a mafia. When you look at the lineups for any of these major festivals with maybe 80 DJs playing and out of them, if they're lucky, four will be women. And you think, oh, dance music is so free and open and it comes from this utopian ethos, like no way. Is she real? Did her boyfriend help her do it? As if men don't have peers that help them. As if men don't sit around and ask each other questions about how to do stuff. Of course they do that shit. I didn't notice that there was gender imbalance when I was young in electronic music. This scene in particular, I was like, whoa, there are a lot of women here who are doing really great work. And then that's kind of just how it sparked. I'm just This woman started like a year and a half ago. Me and Emma sort of spawning this idea. It's a platform showcasing female identified DJs. And now we're really focusing on just representing female talent and getting people booked, getting people paid for what they do. It's a really safe space, whether you're female identified or an ally, like that energy that we want to have, it's, it's just like a support system. I would say I'm very like visual and Emma is very musically talented, but we both hadn't really had much experience in event organizing. And I was like, Christine, Christine's definitely the most practical out of us, which is essential to how we pull things off. Frankie, she's like a powerhouse. She is great because she dreams really big. And that's the best part about working with her. Growing up, like, I didn't have the easiest time. This woman does come out of a lot of, like, experiences of, like, oppression and stuff like that. So it's, like, a very personal project. I am a queer person of color. And, like, the world that I exist in, that's, that's the world that I want to create for other people that are like me. We just try to represent a broad spectrum of what we see. So every lineup, you know, should be a range of racial identity, sexual identity, all of these things that we're so lucky to see in New York, but they're not in the mainstream, so we're able to kind of put that at the forefront. Read out loud. <laughs> okay, she says, I do wish that were more female producers, which is why I'm so happy Disc Women is establishing a place and presence for that. I guess the mix is my own reflections on the state of things and music culture, finding moments of power within it and looking forward to something else. Oh, that's, that's really so nice. sweet. Mm -hmm. That's really nice. 
the amount of emails and the press we got after starting Disc Woman opened up a dialogue for people and inspired other people to do similar things. It becomes this global community. That feeling is so incredible. Daphne records sounds from real life on a tape recorder. She splices them together and listens at varying speeds to pioneer a very original new type of sound. As a musician, it's really beautiful to watch people respond to music. One of the reasons that I got in touch with this woman was because I was so inspired by what they were doing in New York and I really felt the need to do something similar back in India, being able to make music more accessible for more of the population. What are you feeling? Like more like um, something with some Hindi samples? Hindi samples. There is a sense of wanting to really tap into the true ability of music to be able to connect human beings on a very rudimentary level. When you see people like yourself doing things you might have considered doing, then you, you get inspired to take the plunge and do them. music for 20 years and if I had understood there is a history and that we have always been here that it wouldn't have seemed such a strange idea to be a DJ or a producer when I was 18. It is only when you succeed that people will ask you how you did it but before you succeed people will stop you and will tell you not to do it. The good thing is that I'm a stubborn person and whatever is in my mind I need to do it. We are not opening our doors to a lot of different kinds of people, then we don't get to hear those songs. We don't get to hear that music. I don't want to live in that creative world. I want to hear those songs. I see this woman growing is I just want to keep on going to new places. I was looking at where we could go next and a lot of people have been talking about Mexico City. Everyone was down to do another event but with the same concept of like showcasing the local female DJs. We want to impact like the next generation yeah. younger women and just it's possible like anything you want to do is possible. Yeah. When I was like 13, I was able to start like having all the internet and to see all the things that were happening around the world. In Europe, the girls read about feminism, but in Latin America, the girls live the feminism because here you need to be a warrior. I really believe that the event tonight is going to detonate the beginning of the presence of the female figures inside the electronic music in Mexico. This night is the beginning of the end. showing that women are organizing, we can all feel it. There is some sort of escape velocity happening on this topic. I think it's inspiring for young girls to see a woman up there amongst a bunch of guys holding her own. I see this woman growing globally. It's always a new place and barely even started. 
think one day it can be gender balance. It starts small, like it's like baby steps. But I do feel like people are feeling empowered and feeling like it's possible.